Welcome to the spelling video for this week. We will be doing our spelling, I guess. All right, here we go. Remember, the more you do your sorts and learn the patterns that we're um, teaching you about today, the better you will be at reading and writing. So make sure you've got your pencil ready to go. Make sure it's sharp so that you can write. Make sure you've got your scissors ready to cut your sort your words out with. Glue stick and your zip top bag ready to put those words in after you get them coming out. And of course, most important thing, spelling book. Make sure you got that. And your spelling words. So let's get these cut out. And it looks like we're doing some Latin roots today. And it looks like we're doing grass, rupt, tract, and mot. Mot? Moat? Mot? I don't know. Interesting. And remember, I cut around out these outsides. Now, what I like to do, again, and I think I mention this in every single one of these that I do, I like to uh, cut off the this top as one piece. That way that when we do this, that we can just put this across the top. And we can write them out a lot easier, all right? Then I cut down this, this stripe right here. And cut down right here. And then I'll cut uh, all three of these in one cutting. So, make sure that you're cutting these out. You can have these cut out before you ever uh, start the video if you want. That way you've got everything ready to go. So as I'm doing this, you can go, mm-hmm, that's great. But I want them spread out. Spread them out all around your book. That way when I say a word that we're going to write down, you can grab it right away and... Be ready to sort them and write them out. All right. Let me get a couple of these. I still got a couple of these that I'm putting on. All right, good. So let's put these out and let's do some uh, gluing. All right, so I've got this piece right here that I like that I want you to keep. Now you can write it out, but it's so much easier if you just cut off these pieces and glue it. Now, you shouldn't be gluing any of your words or anything on there. Just make sure you glue this. Glue that right up at the top. And it looks like we're doing our Latin roots, grass, rupt, tract, and mot, or moat, something like that. Let's put these words up here. And I like to leave a little space so we can write out what they mean. So we're going to put grass, underline it, rupt, Underline it because see this gives us a good a good uh, amount of space on our page so that we can fit all three of those because if we don't do that then sometimes we forget to leave a little space and then we get all bunched up and so now that I've got my exemplars I'm going to put my exemplars in my bag. And then once you get finished with all the words, you can put them in your bag also and put them somewhere. All right, so let's start talking about these words. Our first one we're going to look at is, let's look at grass. Grass, I'm going to pick a word. Let's go with progress. Progress. And it's progress. So we call it progress or progress, whichever one. But we're going to do grass, and pro means forward. So we've got forward, and grass actually means to go. So to go forward. So progress means to go forward. Oh, don't forget to write the, underline the G-R-E-S-S. -S. All right? So when you look at grass, it means to go. So if I pick this word right here and we go regress, regress, it means to do something again. So that means to go again or 
we have to do it again. Regress is backwards. We're going backwards. We're redoing it. We're doing it again. Okay? So that regress doesn't... Progress means to go forward. Regress is kind of to go backward. Even though it means to go again. Because if we regress, we're having to do things again and again. And that means we're not going forward, right? All right. So let's get to rupt. Rupt. Let's do interrupt. Interrupt. Now, this one's a tricky one because this one's your, your uh, prefix, and this one is your root word, and so you need two R's in there when there's a prefix and a suffix. I mean a root word. So we got inter. And inter means between. I think we might have done that before. Rupt means to break. So we're breaking it between. So we're breaking something in between. So when you're interrupting, you're actually breaking between the conversations. And we probably shouldn't be breaking into... Um, um, it stuff, so make sure that you don't interrupt people. That's the best thing you got to pay attention to, right? Okay, so the next word I want you to pick up is we're going to look at erupt. Erupt. So, right, erupt. And this one's an interesting word because we've got to break. But e as a, as a prefix actually means out. So, to break out. So, when a volcano erupts, it's breaking out. Isn't that interesting that the, the letter E, when used as a prefix, actually means out? Hmm. Maybe we'll have to think about some of those words that we've done in the past ones when we have an E at the very beginning. <clears throat> Let's write that out there out. All right, so let's get to our next one. Tracked, tracked. We've got detract. So I've got detract. And so tracked, I wonder what tracked means. D-E D -E actually means away or apart. So tracked actually means to draw or to pull. So when we're tracting, we're pulling. When we detract, it actually means to draw away from, away, to draw away. So when we're detracting from something, we're taken away from it. Isn't that interesting? So let's look and see what, oh, let's look at this one. Distract. So let's look at distract, and we'll write that one up. D-I-S-T-R-A-C-T. Dis. Dis. When uh, this is a prefix, um, it means kind of, um, how do I say this? To draw... Um, reversal or taking away from, so to draw away, so it's drawing away from, so when you're distracting, you're actually drawing away from what is in front, or um, if you're distracting in class, you're taking away from what's happening in, happening in the class, so don't do that. All right, let's look at mot, M-O-T, moat, mot. Mot, actually, when we usually see mot or moat, we have, let's do pro, moat, and we actually add an E on the end on that one. When we promote, pro means, remember on this one, means forward, forward, and moat actually means to move. So we move forward. So when you promote something or somebody, you're trying to move them forward. 
Interesting. And so let's look at this one. Motion. Moat. Shun. So when we look at motion, what we're doing is we are moving and, or the process, because T-I-O-N or I-O-N is the process of. And so when you look at motion, it's actually to move or moving. It's, a, it's, it's an action. So it's motion, it's moving. That's what motion is. So these are our Latin roots. I need you to make sure that you are getting those put together. And don't forget this word, this letter E means out. Okay, because you're going to find a couple of them in here. We also have this egress. We have another word for um, emotion. We've got E and moving. So write those words out and make sure you know exactly what you're talking about when we're describing what these things are. All right? All right, so now what I need you to do is I need you to take all the rest of the words. I need you to say them. I need you to write them. And I need you to think, what do those prefixes or suffixes mean and how the word means with adding uh, either a beginning or an ending to our root words. All right, get these done. Make sure they're cut out. When you're finished, put them in your zip-top bag, and we'll see you later.